According to China's space agency, the Long March 5B rocket, which recently launched a space station into orbit, hurtled back to Earth late Saturday night in an uncontrolled fall and finally crashed into the Indian Ocean. China's National Space Agency said in a post on WeChat that the rocket landed just west of the Maldives in the Indian Ocean and that most of the rocket was destroyed on re-entry to Earth's atmosphere. Some online footage seemed to have shown parts of the rocket hurtling over the sky in the Middle East. Someone claimed to have seen it in the sky with visible fire. However, no confirmation is available for the exact details. The Long March 5B rocket blasted off from China's Henan Island on April 29, carrying the unmanned Tianhe module, which contains what will become living quarters on a permanent Chinese space station. However, the roughly 30-meter tall, 5-meter diameter Long March 5B first stage also reached orbital velocity instead of falling within a predetermined area downrange. Without the ability to restart its engines, the core stage would be dragged towards Earth. Atmospheric fluctuations and other variables and the high velocity of the stage mean that accurate predictions of when and where the rocket would re-enter the atmosphere were not possible until a few hours before the event. As is the case, the Long March tumbled erratically around the Earth in an out-of-control mode. The Long March 5B is one of the largest pieces of space debris to return to Earth. The core stage of the first Long March 5B that returned to Earth last year weighed nearly 20 tons, surpassed only by debris from the Columbia Space Shuttle in 2003, the Soviet Union's Salyut 7 space station in 91, and NASA's Skylab in 1979. The orbital inclination of the rocket stage was 41.5 degrees, which meant that areas of the Earth as far north as Chicago, New York, Rome and Beijing, and as far south as New Zealand and Chile were all in its path back to Earth. Earlier in the week, the U.S. military said that the U.S. Space Command was tracking an uncontrolled re-entry. The location of the rocket's descent into Earth's atmosphere as it falls back from space cannot be pinpointed until within hours of its re-entry, which is projected to occur around May 8. Harvard-based astrophysicist Jonathan McDowell told Reuters this week potentially dangerous debris would likely escape incineration after streaking through the atmosphere at hypersonic speed, but in all likelihood would fall into the sea, given that 70% of the world is covered by ocean. Some scientists call it irresponsible for China to allow the uncontrolled re-entry of spacecraft debris to Earth. Paulo Lozano is the director of the Space Propulsion Lab at MIT. He told Voice of America, they, China, certainly bear responsibility for not providing enough information or not doing enough in their design to prevent the uncontrolled re-entry of the spacecraft to Earth. I think that's important. The cleanup may not work at all, especially if the debris falls into the ocean, where they could very well be lost forever. Lozano explained that a second stage is required in almost all U.S. rocket launches in which the engines start up again to guide the rocket back to Earth in a designated, unoccupied area. He said, you never hear in the news that U.S. rockets fly uncontrolled and will return to an inexact location on Earth. That's because usually they stay in orbit for a while and then the engines kick in and guide them to the right location at the right time. However, the Long March 5B rocket did not include this aspect of the design. Jonathan Black, director of the Department of Aerospace and Ocean Engineering from Virginia Tech, said such design has only been in use in the last decade. Although the Long March 5B rocket only launched late last month, its technology was likely decades old. Black said, The rocket is probably quite old. You know the Russians still launch on the Soyuz, and while they've started to update it, it's still the same basic design from the 60s or earlier. Controlled fault design for rockets or aircraft is technically mature, but why don't the Chinese Communist Party use it? Some scientists speculate that the costly price tag may be the reason. But this is likely a superficial reason. China's communist philosophy has a face-saving mindset of catching up with the U.S., but also a deep-rooted disregard for the ethical bottom line of technology and a contempt for human life. In 
，向你们致以热烈的祝贺和诚挚的问候。According to Ted Mulehaupt, principal director of the Center for Orbital and Reentry Debris Studies at the Aerospace Corporation, because Long March 5b is equivalent in size to an unloaded semi truck and weighs roughly 22 tons, as much as nine tons of material is expected to survive. That, that's kind of equivalent to dropping three pickup trucks on somebody's head or crashing a small airplane. Now it won't all come down in one piece, but for something that large. You usually have to take steps to be able to bring it down. While Mulehaupt agrees with the Chinese Foreign Ministry's prediction that the debris will likely fall into the ocean, he is concerned that China has had two uncontrolled reentries in the space of a year. There was enough、uh, reaction to the last one last May that、uh, most people thought they would have learned their lesson and not done it again, and、uh, but apparently they have. Uh, so you know they're two for two with this particular design. So the question that、uh, people have asked is, did they not plan for this? And if not, why not? But the Chinese haven't said.、Uh, it's entirely possible they did plan to do a controlled reentry, and things went wrong. That is entirely possible because space is hard. But if that's the case, you would think the Chinese would just say so. Debris from the Chinese rocket launches is not uncommon within China. In late April, authorities in the city of Xi'an, Hubei Province, issued a notice to people in the surrounding county to prepare for evacuation as parts were expected to land in the area. A year ago, another Chinese rocket piece passed over New York and Los Angeles before crashing into the Ivory Coast in West Africa, where it damaged buildings but caused no reported injuries. Democratic U.S. Representative Jim Cooper, chairman of the House Armed Services Committee's Strategic Forces Subcommittee, which oversees the U.S. space program, said on May 6 that China should be responsible for warning and protecting people in the path of its falling rocket. In an emailed statement to Bloomberg, Cooper said, "The Chinese Communist Party has repeatedly shown a blatant disregard for space safety. This time, by not even predicting where the Long March 5 rocket body could land, much less helping those below." Black from Virginia Tech said that even though the vast majority of the falling rocket will be burned and destroyed during reentry, the burning of the rocket, as well as the fall of the parts that failed to burn completely, will still produce toxic contamination. Black noted that there are many other examples of China's irresponsible behavior in space. One major example is the anti-satellite missile tests conducted by China in 2007. Black said. They shot down satellites at very high altitudes, much higher than the space station and many other satellites in low Earth orbit. That's a problem because all this wreckage stays there for a long time, and all the debris has to come down from low Earth orbit before it can burn off. So the danger in this example is that it causes a chain reaction of additional collisions and so on. Jonathan McDowell told the press that only China has allowed the remains of multi-stage rockets to fall back to Earth at will over the past 30 years. That's it for the story of the Chinese rocket. But don't go away. We have a great video coming up. I hope you enjoy it.